Okay, hi again, it's Judy Melito with J. Melito & Associates, and I was asked to talk about the difference between using students and volunteers for your phone versus using a professional firm. Here's what I found in my 16 years worth of uh, telephone fundraising experience running phone for hundreds of organizations. Number one, using volunteers and students really can cost you money, it can cost you sales, it can cost you gifts of support. Why? Poor training, I think, is the number one reason why sometimes students and volunteers have a tough time on the phone asking for gifts. Gee, they don't show up for their different shifts that they are supposed to be working. Uh, sometimes they have trouble asking for the gift, asking for the sale, because of maybe a background or experience or poor training. Or they're afraid. And I've seen time after time students and volunteers crumble when they hear the rejection and sometimes even the ridicule over the phones. It's very tough to come back after you hear a no time and time and time again. Um, they, sometimes they don't know how to answer objections and they could lose larger donors and larger sales. I once heard one of my customers tell me, he said, uh, when I was running the student phone -thon at my organization, I would hear my, my young students ask for um, any gift of support. And they were talking with a $100 donor, and they were happy when the $100 donor gave them a $25 gift. That customer came to us. We did a test. We, um, we did, we, the test was between our professional telephone fundraising staff and the students, and guess who won? That customer has been with us now for about 15 years, and we're delighted to be helping them again this year. So, um, again, happy fundraising. Think about what I just told you, and if you have a need, give Jay Melito and Associates a call. We'd be happy to quote your organization on your phone-a-thon. Thanks so much.